Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we started the investigation, we examined the rec room, learned from Hina that Sakura wanted to meet with Byakuya, with Toko, and with Hiro. Um, so we went to talk to all of those people, uh, found out some information, and then we went to talk, well we didn't go to talk to Byakuya in the chem lab specifically, but he happened to be there, so we talked to him and found some stuff in the chem lab that makes me question a couple things. Um, so anyways, now, Makoto is headed back to not here. Um, we might as well just take the long way. Um, we're headed back to the rec room uh, to check in on how everyone's doing. And now that Byakuya's gone, I'm thinking it might be a good time to ask Hina about who was in the room or like not who was in the room, but who she found. Because one of my one of our theories, since this is technically a lock roomed murder, um, is that it's possible that the murderer was hiding inside the room and came out during the confusion of everyone coming in. But we have to oh hi. Um, we have to find out who Hina actually was able to find. Does that make sense? I don't know if that made sense. Sorry. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hino had told me. I see. Are we going to tell her about the suspicious candy wrapper that fell out of Hino's pocket? Uh, so along with Byakuya, they're both claiming that they didn't go to see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Oh, please share, darling. Sakura's body, the shelf of magne magnezines? What? Magazines and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look them over one more time. All right, freaking fine. You're not gonna tell me. I'll just. Okay. Can I talk to Hina though? Can I ask her? You already know who did it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Fine. I can't ask her my question. Apparently. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Excuse me, I'm having an internal monologue. This is very important. Well, yeah, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? But she's a lady! Whew. No getting around it! Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there's still some time... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. It's totally normal. Then, how can you... So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. Girl, you know, you never told me exactly what your, uh, your specialty is. And then you say things like that. It makes me concerned. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. <gasps> the powder! Her shoes? Correct. See that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it, uh, really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Alright, I'm surprised we didn't notice that before, but whatever. Yellow powder. Alright, well, at least we know where that came from. Hey. Uh, next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. Oh, there's more than one thing. Okay, true. show me. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. It okay, seem... do it. it. Would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow. Uh, what? But instead received two blows to the head. Oh. Sorry, my sister's asking me about mock trial. Alright, we're good. Um, two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't she say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. So she didn't fight back, is what we're saying? It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Thank you. Sweet. Love that. Can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Are you a coroner? You can tell me. I'm not going to be weirded out by that. Alright, let's look at the bottle. She said that had a new clue. 
shards of glass. The glass is all red. So I'm gonna spin that one into the bottle. On top of that, the Monokuma figure. Oh. No? Oh, wait, she means the actual bottles over here, probably, not the, uh, the bottle on the floor. And Kyoko said she found a new clue in solving the Monokuma bottle. Is it a secret passage? Something new, something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. That they're all chess pieces? Um... Hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. Good call. Good call, I like that. It's not just because you don't trust me, right? Oh... Uh... No answer! <laughs> I do trust you. To a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Hina's probably, like, listening to all this, like, Oh my god, just kiss already. Um, only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. Wait, what was it updated to say? What? Hold on. It's, uh, additionally, there seems to be some kind of unknown correlation between the bottles. It's that they're all chess pieces! Because that's not unknown. It's probably not. It's probably something else, but... Uh, I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Are you gonna break a bottle over my head? <laughs> an experiment? Anyway... Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with a crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Biakia is not here, so... so hey, don't call him obnoxious. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. Are we gonna dust for fingerprints? Girl, I was just thinking about that. But that Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I better just do it. I took a broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So then, why did I put question marks? I literally knew that was her. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Oh, never mind. There goes my theory. Compare the weights of, of what? <laughs> the pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. To find out if we're missing any glass? Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Boop, boop. Alright, that looks good. It's balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? One well, normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, then let's give it a try. What? Also, where do we get that bag? We can't measure it in the bag. What if the bag weighs something? Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew. That's weird. Just as I thought. How did you think that? How? What? In other words. The result of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. And I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. What? So, what do you think? It's all on you. What? Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that one. More. Alright, that's not coming to me right away. Okay, this is the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Mm, clue. Clue. This magazine is upside down. Did 
someone put it back that way on accident? That's a cosplay king? Hey. Cool. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Picked up the inverted magazine, flipped through it. <gasps> Joko! This is... On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. And it said... Toko. Could this be... A dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this... So... It's indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. Dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it, for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Don't let her see it! She's gonna go do something rash! Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. <laughs> it's settled, she's the killer for sure! That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer! See why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, that makes me that much more suspicious. Magazine dying message. Yeah, that's it's too simple. I don't trust that. Are you kidding me? That's it? That's all the time I get? Hi. Whoops. He had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Okay. Then no. let's begin the class. I'm not tomorrow. ready. I'm not you ready. Need, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor. Oh god, I'm not ready. <laughs> See you soon. I'm not ready. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's already time? But the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Hell yeah. I do not feel ready for this one. At all. I don't. I know- I feel like I know some things, but there's a lot that I don't know. Man, it's real empty in here. Monokuma made his announcement, everyone began to meet up, one after another. And then... Hi! <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! I don't... Eh. A locked room murder mystery! A winky face! What? What the... <laughs> oh, I just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive! Yes, indeed! For example... <laughs> you're in a picnic and you find a dead body! <laughs> smiley face! <sighs> this is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? <sighs> no matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative! Yes, indeed! For example... You have a hundred friends, sad face. What? What? He's right. That does make it seem sad. I can't wait. I now can't then, wait. please get on the elevator. No. I'll see you all down there. Oh my god. Is that like that looks like an airplane guy doing like Oh, you can't see me. You know, like with the lights when they guide a plane. You know what I'm What the hell was that? I don't want you to get it. Just the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look at me. I, I don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be me. Or I mean, I like, didn't murder anyone. Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. <laughs> Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt, one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. Ah, uh, rip, baby. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. Alright, let's do our usual. We're gonna talk to everyone, and then next episode, we will begin the trial.
we will go down and begin the trap. That person is here? That person is one of us. Alright. Don't look at me! I said it before and I'll say it again. It like wasn't me. Yakya? Yeah, the culprit is one of us, make no mistake about that. Well, duh. Toko? Because I didn't do it! How many times do I have to tell you? Okay. Tina? How can you just stand there and say you didn't do it without breaking a sweat? Oh, those two are obviously talking. Kyoko? Hey. Standing around here isn't gonna do any good. Let's get going. And get going we shall. But in the next one. Because you know I like to start the class trials in a new video. So. Next time. We're gonna do a class trial for Sakura's murder. Oh. This is gonna be a wild one. Because I only have about half an idea of what I'm doing. I'm terrified. But I'll see you then. Bye!